Right, hey, today's tutorial is um, about how to make a uh, wireframe view uh, for render. Um, we have in the scene just a, a gun I've been modelling. Um, if we render it quickly, it's just a standard view. Um, and if we press F4 in the viewport uh, to get the wireframe view, it still doesn't render like that. Um, so what we can do is um, we can clone the geometry and then expand it slightly and add a wireframe material to the expanded geometry and that will make um, an effect of the object being within wireframe view. Um, okay, where right to begin? We could start by uh, cloning the geometry. Um, so you get to edit, clone. Um, make it a wireframe. Just, just named it wireframe. So we've copied the geometry now. So within the scene, we've got the gun and the wireframe. Both are exactly the same at the time being. Now what we do is we add a push modifier. Um, to the wireframe model, the, the push modifier expands everything from the origin um, slightly outwards. Uh, so, um, the push value you can play with yourself, but for this model it's a good 0 0.3, it's not a very high value that you need. Um, so then what we need to do is go into the material browser. Um, so the, the gun itself is just a standard grey material, there's no special effect to that. Um, for the wireframe we're going to add a, another standard material to it. Uh, but turn that to white in the diffuse slot and click wire. Um, then what this has done is it's taken all the vertices and uh, made the wireframe view from them. Uh, and now when we render it we'll have a wireframe model. 